Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. In today's Procreate Basics, I'm going to show you how you can create a color palette from an image automatically. No manual work required. So I would love for you to follow along. So I'm going to create a new canvas. I'm going to tap on screen size and I'm going to first of all find an image to create the color palette from. And let's do this together. I'm going to share my favorite website for this that is called Unsplash. So I'm on unsplash.com. That's Unsplash. And it is amazing because all of the images here are copyright free. You can use them for anything that you want, even commercial use. So I'm going to try to find maybe some color palettes from flowers. So I'm going to type in flowers and I'm going to scroll down and find something that piques my interest. I kind of like this one. So let's tap on this and then press and hold until you get this come up and then say add to photos. What will happen is the photo will end up in your camera roll. Then go back to Procreate and now let's create a color palette from this image. So let's tap on the little circle in the corner. Mine's black right now because that was the last color I used. And you have a bunch of different options here. I'm on the disc mode. Let's go to palettes mode and then tap on the plus sign here. And you have a bunch of different options. Let's tap on new from photos. And now you can select the image that you want to create a palette from. So I'm going to select this one. Now this has basically created a palette from the original image. Let's see how accurate this is. So I'm going to insert the original image into this file. In order to insert an image into your canvas, go to your actions menu, your wrench icon, make sure you're on add and say insert a photo and then tap on your photo and that's your photo. So now let's have a look. I think it did a decent job for sure. So you have a few of those yellows from the flowers there and then you have a few of those pinks from these. So I think it did a decent job. So that's one way to do it. But I personally don't do that because this kind of randomly selects the colors. If you want to select your own colors, you may want to do things a little bit differently. So I'm going to show you in another video how to do that. But for now, I'm signing off. I will see you in the next video.